All right, Chris, today Lenovo announced a brand new edge-focused AI solution. Lenovo TrueScale for Edge brings an infrastructure as a service platform to the world of edge computing. TrueScale will allow Lenovo to sell solutions to customers looking to ramp up their presence at the edge and start to work on complex subjects like everyone's favorite AI. Mm -hmm. The centerpiece of this platform is the Lenovo ThinkEdge SE455 V3. That's a mouthful because it also contains an AMD Epic 800 CPU. Now, I know that edge computing is a very hot topic, and Stephen has been talking a lot about it on utilizing edge. But, uh, Chris, what are your thoughts on Lenovo kind of coming out with this new edge platform and really focusing it on AI? Yeah, overall, this is great. I think um, one thing just to back up the history of this, right, TrueScale uh, was actually announced back in February of 2019. It's essentially an infrastructure as a service um, and device as a service offering. So it's really everything as a service under Lenovo. And what's kind of interesting about it when they first came out, you know, the four years ago is they're looking at, you know, I, I've heard people call them being kind of a general contractor, right? They basically are promising this single point of contact for at least eventually all of their as-a-service offerings through this TrueScale brand. The initial partners included folks like SAP and Nutanix and VMware, Microsoft, also on the kind of, you know, resale and, and integration side with CDW and, and Cinex. And so it's a really interesting just overall kind of the whole thing as a service, right? We can come install it, maintain it, manage it. Um, it's truly infrastructure as a service from a vendor or manufacturer, which is, which is pretty interesting. And then what's announced today is true scale for edge and AI services. Um, the idea here is to give companies this immediate scalable access to next generation AI anywhere, uh, I think is one of the quotes I heard. Um, you know, really it's about this kind of bringing that cost model and potentially cost benefits and definitely the, the, the quick start, right? One of the interesting things I think about these infrastructure as a service plays, especially from Lenovo, is you basically get all of the gear you need day one, but then you're paying for it, you know, over time, um, instead of having to finance, you know, this right up front, which, which is really interesting. Um, so you get this kind of pay as you go model and, and get your, you know, whatever you're needing at the edge, a lot of it's AI these days, whether that's generative AI or computer vision, virtual assistants, these kind of things, um, are all really interesting. So, so that cost modeling and, and the partnerships involved are, are pretty interesting. They've added new partners, as you mentioned, AMD is in here now and Intel, Nvidia, um, Qualcomm as well is in the mix. So, uh, and all of this comes together uh, in this new Lenovo Think Edge SE four five five V three, as you said, um, with the AMD Epic eight thousand four series processors. Um, a, a couple of things here, right? One, they're calling this the most powerful edge server on the market, and I'm starting to think a little bit about those car commercials where every car is the best in its class uh, because we've just created a bunch of new classes. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly what's going on here, but but it, it it feels a little familiar, right? When you start saying the most powerful edge server, what does that exactly mean? I'm not sure. But what is interesting is the AMD Epic processors do focus on the performance, but also really focused on energy efficiency, platform density, quiet operations. And so that's a lot of what we're talking about when we talk about edge. Um, and then obviously also with the other partnerships, Qualcomm is also bringing in their cloud AI 100, um, which is an AI inference accelerator, which again, kind of focused on power efficiency, scale, process node advancements, um, all, all these kind of things that, that are really important at the edge. And I'm starting to wonder a little bit, you know, how much of these innovations are going to stay, quote unquote, at the edge versus is this technology we just need everywhere, right? There's lots of concerns about power usage at data centers um, and these kind of things. So, you know, can we just bring these efficiencies everywhere uh, or at least... Um, a lot of places. I think that could be very interesting as well. So um, lots of interesting news there and definitely really focused on kind of uh, furthering the edge and, and the cost models at the edge.